good morning students today we are going to talk about how we are going to cover the syllabus for the paper sp2 life insurance in the upcoming 3 months so let's talk about this paper a bit uh, so basically this paper life insurance uh, is modeled to cover how an entire life insurance company works right uh, in a day to day basis what are the various things an actual person in a life insurance company needs to think about for example if you think about it uh, say the entire product cycle of a particular life insurance policy right so an actuarial will have to think about what how the product design should uh, should look like right like what are the all the features that should be offered as a part of the life insurance policy right uh, what else they'll have to think about what are the premiums they should charge now this itself is a very very complex topic right uh, they'll have to keep n number of factors in their mind right so this chapter this basically this paper will take you through all of those things right how pricing takes place right uh, right after the product is sold uh, the product cycle does not end we know that a life insurance policy can span up to 10 20 30 years right so uh, a company on just selling the life insurance policy does not get done with it for example if you think about a shopkeeper selling a toothpaste as soon as he or she completes the sale the sale is completed but that's not the case for a life insurance policy it's going to go on for the next 20 30 years so for that purpose life insurance companies have to do a lot of other stuff for example keep reserves right keep customers happy they also have a customer base to cater to so they'll have to keep their customers happy with good customer service uh with good by providing them benefits that they have been promised uh by keeping reserves aside there's a large part of regulatory requirements that insurance companies have to satisfy so they'll have to keep uh and they'll have to make sure that all those regulatory requirements are also satisfied at the same time there are n number of other things they need to keep in mind right for example uh like things like investments like any insurance policy might also have something called a savings component something you would have heard about an endowment assurance policy so for these policies uh, a large portions of the investment uh, of the premium is invested uh, by the insurance company so the insurance company also has to keep in mind about the investments that they are making right so in short this cover this paper covers everything anything and everything about a life insurance company and we here aim to cover this syllabus in a span of 3 months how do we uh, plan to cover it uh, so we have weekend classes dedicated weekend classes for this right uh, so if you think about it in a span of 3 months we have 12 weekend classes 4 into 3 right what we have done here is we have divided the syllabus for sp2 into 12 broad topics right the first topic is which covers the first few chapters is the uh, are the products that are offered in the market right so we can think about uh the different types of products that are offered in the market so your term assurance endowment assurance whole life assurance uh pure endowments all the kinds of life insurance policies that are covered that are sold in the market is covered in that chapter next portion comes how uh, uh, sorry what are the risks that these life insurance companies are exposed to and how do they manage these risks now this is a very interesting topic in itself because this uh explores the space of risk management right there are host of risks that an insurance company faces today uh, while selling any policy right they may vary insurance company to insurance company they may vary product by product but there's a large theme of risks that they face so this portion covers everything about those risks what are those risks how are those risks mitigated by these insurance companies what is the best way to mitigate them and all of that the next is about what are the forms of benefits that can be offered for example uh an insurance policy a endowment assurance policy that we're talking about it has a particular maturity value right now that maturity value can be guaranteed in money terms say you'll get 10000 rupees at the end of 10 years it can be guaranteed with respect to an index such as uh 10000 rupees but linked to sensex or nifty right or it can be something called a with profits policy where bonuses are declared as an uh along the term of the policy right so there are multiple forms of benefits that can be offered there's something called unit linked as well all of that which we'll explore in that portion of the syllabus right next comes the pricing of a contract 
and the general business environment, right? Uh, so when a product is sold, what should be the premium that should be charged for that product and the various other factors that a company needs to keep in mind with respect to the general business environment, right? Uh, the next part is about asset shares and it rolls in surplus distribution. Now, what we will be delving into these chapters uh, is basically the with profits management portion, right? So with profits is a kind of benefit, right? That, are, that is offered to uh, policyholders in few insurance policies. Uh, their surplus needs to be distributed as bonuses. So here we'll talk about how those bonuses are determined, right? And there's a very interesting concept uh, called SHS that we need to look into right here, right? The next part is setting aside reserves and solvency capital requirements. Uh, so as we discussed, there, there's a lot of reserving requirements that these insurance companies need to meet. Um, what we'll study here is about that. Over the reserves, the company also needs to set aside some supervisory capital, right? Solvency capital requirements need to be met. So we'll also study about that in that particular uh, chapters, right? Uh, then designing a product and setting the assumptions in the process. Now, designing a product is not also a very simple thing, right? What are the various features that need to be offered along with that policy, right? Uh, say any guarantees, any options, how much premium should be collected, how long the policy goes, what is the benefit that is offered, surrender values, any alteration terms that are being offered. So all of that, what are the various product design features that actually should keep in mind while designing a particular policy? And along with that, what are the various assumptions that he or she needs to set in, right? So there are a host of other assumptions that we make while designing a policy, or these assumptions can be used at various stages of the life cycle, say pricing, reserving. So how those assumptions are set, right? Then it's about how actuarial models are used to model these products. Now, uh, there are a host of actuarial models available in the market, right? But these chapters here cover a very, on a very high level, uh, how actuarial modeling as a whole is used to, uh, is used in various parts of the actuarial process, say pricing, say valuations, say reserving. What is the basic sense? What is the basic purpose of all these actuarial models? Then, Next, we have surrenders and alterations. In this part, we cover another interesting topic uh, wherein we study how do companies determine the surrender values that are paid to uh, policyholders uh, when they say lapse the policy or when they uh, do not want to continue paying with premiums. Instead of paying a surrender value, the policy can also continue right at a reduced benefit. So that is where alterations come in. Uh, that is what we explore in this set of chapters. The final three set of chapters is about guarantees and options. So here we talk about what are the various kinds of guarantees that are offered as a part of insurance policies, right? What are the various options? For example, uh, the policy we were talking about where the benefits are linked to, say, Sensex or Nifty, right? Now, in a span of 10 years, it might be possible that Sensex underperforms, right? Um, it does not give a certain expected rate of return. So the policy can also have a guarantee that your benefits say will never fall below 3% compounded annual growth rate, right? So that is where a guarantee comes in. There are certain things called options as well, where policyholders have the option say to convert a endowment assurance into a term assurance or to extend the term assurance after its maturity. So those guarantees and options is what we'll study in this set of chapters. And then we have something called reinsurance. Now insurance companies also don't take the entire hit on their balance sheet they might want to transfer some part of the risk to another company. That is where the reinsurance companies come in, right? So we'll see what are the various kinds of reinsurance, how do they help uh, insurance companies in ways other than insurance as well, and uh, like how do they come into the picture, right? The last but not the least, we talk about underwritings and investments, right? Um, an insurance company, whenever it sells a policy, has to take care of a lot of underwriting stuff as well. That is making sure that whatever in information that has been provided by the policyholder is correct or not related to their health or otherwise, say, financial, whatever. At the time of claims as well, they need to make sure that those uh, claims are correct. There are no fraudulent claims. So they are underwriting at various stages. So we cover about that in underwritings. And finally, investments. A, li a life insurance company also invests the premiums that it has, invests the other free surplus that it has, 
So we also study about how those investments take place, how an insurance company decides what's the ideal way to make these investments. So all in all, as we discuss, this paper takes you through a journey of a typical life insurance company, right? Uh, like a new company or an existing company, this paper will talk about both of that stuff. Uh, it will basically take into consideration all the aspects that an insurance company needs to think about. Um, it will talk about how it can sell new products, how it can manage its existing portfolio of products, everything. Uh, all in all, uh, this will basically give you a very good base uh, if you are if you are working in the life insurance domain, right? It will help you understand uh, what are the various things a life insurance company can think about. And personally speaking, it will really help you uh, leverage those learnings into your day-to-day -day working as well, right? Uh, so that's the plan for the three-month SP2 course. Uh, we hope that you all join us here and best of luck.